Hey guys, this is Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and this is going to be a really short uh, Inkscape video uh, that I'm making for Bridget. Uh, Bridget, you're awesome. I appreciate all your help. So Bridget's doing some editing of some marketing material for me in Inkscape, and she just had a question about text boxes and bullets. So I wanted to show that, uh, whip up a quick little video to show her how I like to do that in Inkscape. So uh, what she has right now is she's got this block of text, and she's... Uh, She's creating a bulleted list here, and um, I would actually do this a little bit differently. So she, right now she's got this as one block of text, and then she's dropped some bullets in here. And uh, when I do bullets, I like to uh, I like to make the bulleted items their own text. So here's what I'm going to do, and I'm working in a copy in case I mess something up. So I'm going to just come in here and say, hey, uh, let's get rid of this stuff that's supposed to be in the bullet. Okay. So we've gone ahead and done that now. And you can see right here, the spacing on this is lined up. It's not lining up with the baseline grid. So let's go ahead and fix that. To do that, you have your text active and you hit this box here. And then what we want to do is we want to just, sometimes there's a little bug, you just got to reset the spacing. So 14.4 is what I want. And now you can see the text is lining up on the baseline grid. Okay. All right, so now I want to go in and, and do our text for our bullets. So. Uh, what I like to do, we'll do the text first, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna fix those bullets because they're looking a little funky, a little oblong. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna copy this text. So I'm gonna go edit, duplicate. No, oh, and I just duplicated the box and not the text. It looks like so. Let's undo that. Okay, so edit, duplicate. Okay, so now I've got just the text, so I'm just going to pull this over to the side. And then we're going to go in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that text and just have my bullet in here. Okay. And then hit apply. So now I've got a, a single string of text for that first bullet, so I can drop this in where I want here on the baseline grid. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat that. So we're going to edit, duplicate, move it down. Okay, then we'll put in the second item. Okay, and then we'll do that one more time for the third. being a little tricky with that snap. Ah. Sometimes you got to turn off your, uh, when you're trying to do text like that, you got to turn off your snap on your bounding boxes. Uh, let's just turn off bounding boxes and turn on text baseline. There we go, now it's working. Okay, so this is the last bullet item. The problem is uh, we're basically running we're so we're trying to get our text to, to stick to this box and we're just running out of room so uh, you know one of the answers to Bridget's question that she asked me is we just don't have room for all this text so we're just gonna have to get rid of this it's not gonna fit okay. all right now let's fix our bullets so these bullets are look a little bit like eggs so we don't want that so let me show you how to do a proper size bullet. So to do that, we actually got to go in and tweak our grid because we want a square grid. Right now we have rectangles. So we're going to go in, wrong one. This button right here allows us to change our grid settings. And we're going to go over to grids here. And this is 0 0.2 on the Y. We're going to make it 0 0.1. Now we've got a nice square grid. And okay, then we're going to come over here to the circle and ellipse tool. And we're going to just draw that, but we need to make our bounding box snap active again. So then we're going to just snap one corner, snap the other corner. Now we got something that fits nicely in a grid cell. Okay. And I actually, she had them black, but I actually like to use the, the color scheme. So let's make it that redefine horizons purple. So she's got that on a locked layer, I think, which is okay. So we're going to unlock that real quick. So 
So I'm going to just copy this color code down. Okay, and then we're going to relock that. Oop, we're going to relock that layout layer, shapes layout layer. Okay. Now we can just drag this bullet in, and that's nice and round like it should be. And whoop, and I've got the right color on it. I keep grabbing that rotation center, which is not what I want. There we go. Okay. And then uh, obviously the image link is broken. That'll get fixed. Okay, so then we're just going to save this. And so now we've got our text in there with some bullets that match our color scheme. They're nice and round. All right, Bridget, hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.